A story map shows a sequence of steps users perform and alternative ways users can perform each step. Cards on a story map can become product backlog items in three different ways. First, any one card on a map can turn directly into a product backlog item. If we're building an app or site that collects payments, for example, we may have a card that says, pay with American Express card. That's a product backlog item. Second, because a column of cards represents different ways of doing something, the entire column can become one product backlog item. If our map has a column of different ways to pay, that column can become one big product backlog item. Finally, a sequence of columns can become one big backlog item. On an e-commerce site, users can search, save items to a wish list, check out more. Wish lists will span multiple rows and columns. It could become one large product backlog item. This is a good idea if you won't develop that feature for a while. If this video has been useful, click the like button. And if you're new to this channel, click subscribe so you don't miss out on future tips to help you succeed with Agile.